So you want to know how to get to the other side of the fence. You want the money to be coming to you rather than it going out. And some people get sick and tired of being sick and tired and not having any money. So today's episode, we're going to talk about exactly how it is that you can get uh, rich or wealthy as opposed to just being normal. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this on the board here. Rich or wealthy versus poor or more like normal. Right? Normal. So it depends on where your focus is and what's going on. So just think about this. The We'll just have a little down the middle here. So if you ever notice that normal people who don't have money and then you notice people who seem like they do act completely different. And a lot of it is mindset. It's more than that than you think. So, um, you know, they, they're fake. They like uh, showing off like a Gucci handbag. Uh, or a coach, okay? Gotta have it, all right? So there's a difference between gotta have, want it, and what your needs are. So I'm talking about wants and needs. How about a new car? Everybody likes a new car, but here's the thing, it's a depreciating asset. That thing's going down in value as soon as you drive it off the lot. We all know this, but we get in that car and we feel like, oh, that, that new smell of leather in that car, man, it's awesome. Several things. Number one is you might be making a payment on that new car. It's a depreciating asset. It's going down in value. And again, it's not bringing you additional value. But you feel great until you got to make those payments every single month. Smarter thing, I just had this conversation with a member of our team. So instead of buying a new car, they bought a used car. Uh, and that new used car has already depreciated. Somebody's already taken the hit on it. It's got low mileage and it's going to be half the price of what the new one is and they're going to drive it for a long time. I also have members of my team that are on in older cars and people look at them and they say, oh man, I know that they're successful. Why are they driving around in an older vehicle? You know why? Because they're investing their money. They're doing other things with it. So I'm going to show you about that. So normal people, trips. Hey, they like trips. Uh, they like to relax. Okay. Who doesn't? And of course, things like, I'm gonna get my nails done. Okay, well you can go get your nails done. You can paint them yourself. You don't have to go to the nail salon. You don't have to get them painted. And you don't have to go ahead and, uh, and uh, pay a tip on top of it. How about the coffee? I've talked about this before, and you've heard this before, is um, I make my own coffee in, in my office and at home. Um, I don't go to the, the, uh, the Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks and go get a coffee because why? I think it's a waste of money and time. Also that time that I have to go get in the car and go there. Um, so how about all the things that hasn't been paid for? Okay, so these are things that haven't been paid for. Okay, the car, the trip, I'm financing that stuff, the Gucci, all that kind of stuff, okay? Got it on a credit card. I'm carrying a balance of a credit card. That's stupid, right? If you want to use money and you do have to use your credit card, what you want to do is you want to get the uh, interest, the, the credit cards that pay you a rebate, okay, and then pay it off on a monthly so that when you get that back at the end of the year, you got a little rebate going, right? And also wasting of money. Now, what I mean by wasting of money, okay? So, um, have you ever bought anything and the next thing you know that you were sorry that you bought it, you feel like, oh, I wish I could have taken that back or I shouldn't have done that? Okay, so wasting of money. Things that you don't really need. Again, I want it, I need it, or is it necessary? Is it a necessary item? So also, if you've ever thought about this, you know, as soon as you get money, you gotta get rid of it. You, get, you burn a hole in your pocket. So it's, if you got that kind of a mentality, all this other stuff that I'm gonna talk about over here is gonna help you out big time. How about spending on money? This is one of the things I've seen, and this is recurring, because a lot of these things we see people who have money and are able to do things and we see people who are struggling and trying to get things to happen and this is why I'm doing this. These videos are for you. I just want to make sure that you guys are avoiding the pitfalls that are costly and if you know somebody who can use this, go ahead and share it with them. So I'm going to go down this. Okay, so uh, spend money on junk items. Here's the best one. People say, I got all this stuff. Now I got to go buy a storage container and store the stuff in it. You not only have stuff that you probably won't use or aren't using, but then you gotta pay a storage fee on top of it. That's a big time waste of money. Okay, so now you see the difference here between this is a mindset, okay? Mindset between this and this. Okay, ready? So 
do I need it? Or do I want it? Or is it essential? Okay, essential. Essential. Wealthy protect money. Okay, so the money's coming in, they're protecting it long term. They want to make sure that it's working for them while they're working. Okay? So the second thing is the connections. Who do you know? Are you hanging with people who are, you know, taking you down? You're hanging with people that are taking you up. The connections that people who have money, generally what happens is they'll hang with other people who do or at least read or learn about what other people have done in order to get to their end result goal. These are all goal oriented. These are not necessarily goal. It's quick. It's spur of the moment. It's things that will make me feel good, but I'm not getting ahead long term. Okay? So investments. And so they're usually looking to increase, okay? And then the second thing is real estate, or, or the third thing, real estate. I have noticed, and I'm not just saying this because I'm in the real estate business, but I have noticed that people who have money or who have maintained their wealth, about 80% of them maintain it through real estate. So there's got to be something to that. And I'm, getting, I'm going throughout the United States. I'm talking, just that's just the way it is. Go ahead and do your research. You'll find the same thing. Uh, stock market, yeah, but it's not a gamble. They're looking at the actual return on investment. Think about all the properties everywhere there are in the United States. What percentage of them is owned by someone else that is generating revenue? Think about all the shopping centers, all the commercial properties, all the apartment buildings. Think about it. I mean, again, that's the revenue. That's what I'm talking about here. Totally different mindset. Long-term goals. Again, this is the big thing. Long-term goals as opposed to short. These are always short term. Quick. Quick fix. The quick fix usually takes you further deeper. The long term goal usually fixes and solves problems. Okay? So conserving money. So instead of getting rid of it over here, conserving. Now why conserve? Okay? Because it's it's hard to get, obviously, but holding on to it is even harder. Okay? So that's why it's they're more conservative. I'm not talking about just putting your money in a bank and stick it in your mattress. It's about the freedom that it gives you when you can do these other things. Because think of this, if they've got real estate and income coming in, guess what? You can buy that new car and something else is doing that for you as opposed to you actually having to do that. If you have real estate or investments, you can take trips and relax. Now I'm not talking about timeshares. Think about this. This on this side, here's another one, timeshare. Bad idea. Always, always a bad idea. Never seen anybody make any money out of that one. You know, they say you, you, hold a, um, you hold an asset, you hold a, a, a property, you don't hold anything, you're holding time. How about rent? Do you ever think, get anything out of it? No, you get the time. You get the time that you're there and that's it. If you pay rent, it's going out, it's not coming in. If you're getting this rent, if you're on the other side and you're getting the rent, guess what? It's coming to you and you can go on your trip and you can go buy the new car, you can buy the Gucci, you can do that, you can buy the coach handbag and do all those things as fun things. But you do it after the fact, when you've gotten your act together, okay? So, people over here on this side always, I'm, I'm looking to work for the weekend. I'm working for Friday. So, it's not about working for Friday. It's about making sure that you have the freedom to make your own time, to do what you want to do, when you want to do it. If you want to go on a cruise, guess what? You just go on a cruise. You book it and you go because you've got other things happening. It's about getting to the other side of the fence. And it's about mindset. So again, if you're thinking this way, maybe you should start changing your thoughts and thinking this way. I know you can't read my scribble, but if you watch this again, or go ahead, like I said, share it, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So, you know, it's about making more for your family, for your long term, and so that when you physically can't work anymore, your money is working for you instead of you having to continue to work. I see it all the time. People get to the end of their life and they didn't, didn't do these things. They were all right in this side here. And then they suddenly say, oh my gosh, it's happened. What do I do? Can you pay me? The sky is falling. I, I, Social Security, can you find me a place? On, no, I can't do that. You know, you should have been thinking about this earlier in life. Now, I know that offends some people and I'm not here to offend anybody. I just, I'm telling it like it is because it is what it is. You know, this is totally your mindset on what you're going to do. Like if you're on a diet, guess what? You aren't going to lose weight by just going to the quick, I'm going to go eat, I'm going to eat. You know, you, if you want to stay healthy, guess what? You'll probably live longer as well. 
um, and your health and you're going to be more active and you're going to be feeling better and it's just the way it is. So it's just like the whole story here. This again, the wealthy and the normal. This is the way a lot of us think. I want you to start thinking like this because these are the trends that I see over and over again. If, if there's anything that repeats constantly, it is this. I want you to get on the other side of the fence. I want to make sure that you are the one who is coming and saying thanks. I really appreciate that advice. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you. If it is a desire of yours and you do want to get to the beach, obviously Myrtle Beach, that's what we do. We help people on the daily. Um, my team has helped thousands of people invest in real estate, move here full time, um, and there's steps. It just doesn't happen overnight. You got to start thinking like this in order for your big things, your big goals in life to actually come true and come to fruition. So it's Jerry with Jerry Pincus Real Estate Experts. Go ahead and, and comment below. Let me know, you know what you're thinking about this, what you're working on. Uh, if there is anything that we can help you with, comment below because again, it's about you, it's not about me. We'll talk to you soon. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Bye-bye.